Hi, so I'm back with the build of this perpetual skeleton clock. And I've been working through the calendar feature. I've been having problems to uh, tell the truth on this. Um, this book, uh, it's an interesting book. Again, I've said this design right here is by uh, L.G. Brown. Uh, the book is good, except it gives no assembly drawings. And quite frankly, some of the documentation uh, is not exactly accurate. So you can go down the avenue and you got to get back on the right track. I think I've finally got to figure it out. That's what I'm going to do during this video is show uh, how this works. Uh. So I've got the clock stripped down to just the components I need to show this action. Uh, over here is where the day is going to be shown, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Here's the date, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 31. When this clock turns, the action that happens is every 24 hours, these hands, you're going to see this hand right here, and there's one on each side. It's going to move up and then it'll get re released and it'll drop down and that triggers a day and what happens is there's a small shuttle mechanism i'm gonna try to get in there and show you right here and these wheels have a pinwheel this is going to have its own drive weight and so when there's pressure on this as this is coming around this cylinder much like a grandfather clock charming for a bell um, excuse me this wheel this will move up it'll get released one step and then when it drops down, it'll release again and it'll go around and it'll progress the dial hands uh, that it is up here one day. So that's how that works. Very simple on the day. Uh, works perfect, straightforward. The trick is the calendar. The calendar, again, remember we have to worry about leap year every four years. So the way that works is down here, we've got a month cluster. Um, that tells us what day of the, what month it is. And there's 12 different parts on this. Let me show you the drawing. So here you see the drawing of this cam. This is the most important cam for the month cluster. And it's got a different height. And I talked about this before for each month, the lowest being February, the highest being January. It's got this other wheel that has a, a height step that will sit and it'll eclipse the lower portion of the February. So when February has 29th days, this piece will get in the way and won't go as low. So we'll show you how that works and it progresses along. So here's the month cluster. What happens is there's a cam. There's a cam here and you'll see this. As this goes around, it's gonna go back and this is gonna release this piece. This is once a month. Remember this ratchet will travel. There's 31 teeth on this. Every 31 days, it'll come around and it'll trigger here. So the question is, how do you get it to only go 28 days? And that's the beauty of this mechanism. So if you see down here, every time this releases, and I'll cheat a little bit and do it by hand, excuse me. So you can see every time this releases, this mechanism is gonna move this date wheel forward. And these two gears right here, it's kind of hard to tell. But they turn that one wheel, you can see it right here, it is gonna black out the low point. And there it would be a leap year, it's down in that. It's hard to see right now. But then it keeps progressing along. And what you'll see, here's where the magic happens. Right here, there's a little pin, okay? That pin, as this goes the first of every month, You'll see this pin want to jump into that slot. I'm trying to make sure we've got a good focus on it. Okay, so let's take a look how this works. So as this cam comes around, remember every day, this wheel that I'm turning with my finger here is gonna progress. So it's gonna come around and this is the end of the month. This is 31 days. You can see this about to fall off this ledge right here. When that falls off the ledge, it moves forward and indexes to the next month. So now the key piece to watch is this pin back here, the pin on the back side. You're gonna see that slot coming around. On a 31 day month, that pin will not fall in that slot. It'll stay on the top of the circle. And you can see now it's falling in a little bit. That's a 30 day month. You can see, let's see the next month. It's gonna go around. It stayed out, that was a 31 day month, never went in there. So it matters when this trips. And let me progress to February, so you can see what it looks like on the longest. All right, so now we're in, excuse me, the shortest day. So now we're in February. And you can see this pin drop farther back down there. 
So what's going to happen is when it comes around February, and it's going to be a 28-day February, it's going to come in, and you're going to see that pin. That pin is already in the slot well above of that cam. So the pin drops into that slot, and it'll be down there for some time, and then it'll trip around and be back out on the outside. Now let's get to what happens. This is the trick. So here's the trick to the whole thing. This lever right down here is what every day of the week, remember we saw that before, where it comes around, this little wheel will get trapped and it'll get released. And that shows you one day. What happens on that, when that lever gets down into that slot, like we just saw, I'll try to replicate it. Let's force it down in there. So that slot gives the height of this piece. So what we need to do is I'm gonna to need to file this edge of this so that on a 28 day month, it allows this lever to drop farther than it did. When it goes into that slot, you can see that lever drops down. It'll allow this thing to sneak around. And it, there's a timing action of when it sneaks around, you gotta catch it on the first one or the second one or the third, depending upon how many days you wanna skip. And that matters how far you let this drop down and how early before it falls into that slot. So a little bit complicated, but you can see how with these two mechanisms, you're able to see what, what month it is, and you're able to skip those last days of the month because this will fall in before this triggers on the last day of the month, and it'll allow it to rotate and progress um, quicker and then clear itself. So that's the trick. What I've got to do is I've got a lot left to do. I've got to build a detent because right now this doesn't want to stay in any one day. It's loose. Um, that's got to be um, have index so every day has a click and it can't just float because right now if you see what will happen, it'll, it'll not want to stay in one place. So we've got a lot to do. We've got to get the drive weights on this, uh, but it's a lot of fun. I think it's going to get more straightforward uh, once I finally figured it out. Uh, in the process, you can see here, I made a lot of scrap parts. Um, there was a lot of fitting and figuring, not right yet, but at least I know how it works. So we'll get more of this and be back with you soon. Thanks and please subscribe.